Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Ian's just pulled up and we're gonna hit through this patch here. I'm not going to pan up too much further. Um, but yeah, it's a good little spot. We've hunted a few times now and found a few goodies. So frosty as this morning, ground's frozen. But uh, yeah, we'll get into it and see you on the first target. Bye for now. And a pretty solid 26 here. Down about uh, three inches roughly. Let's pop that out. Not sure what that is. But it looks to be uh, cast or maybe brass or some description. Pretty cool. I haven't tied it up yet, but you can just stay in front of my boot there. Little hole in the grass. Um, the sucker was sitting there. It's like the number eight off a letterbox. Solid 27. All right. Yeah, pretty solid 21 here. And uh, I've just filled that in, but not tidied it up yet. Found this bit of copper, whatever it may be. Couple of holes in it, not to each side. All right. Pretty solid 24 here, and uh, just pop this up. Nice pattern on it. Maybe off a door, perhaps. Who knows? It's pretty cool, though. I had a jumpy uh, 22 up to 24, 25, and uh, just about four inches down, just pop these two. New Zealand brown bugger, the uh, little two cent piece, and uh, New Zealand one dollar coin. Cool, I'm on the board. Just moved over from uh, that last one, probably gone about 10 15 meters and just popped another dollar coin. Sweet. Well, guys, I had a pretty solid 21 here. I've only gone down about three inches. And check this out that's one wipe. <laughs> Try and get that in the sun. Look at that. 33 New Zealand shelling. 50% silver. Sweet. I will definitely take that. Awesome. Now guys, I had a pretty solid um, 31 to 33 here. It's a copper ring. Um, it's bloody weighty. I'm picking from a horse, maybe, or it could well be the world's heaviest baby bangle. <laughs> but yeah, I'd, I'd say horse, but yeah. Anyone knows, let me know. Okay, a bit of a random here, pretty solid 29. And I've got this here. This sort of brassy coloured bits coming through it. But yeah, I have no idea what that is. Okay. Nice solid 22 here and popped up a nice $2 coin. Just turn this uh, plug over, you can see it's sort of just under the ground. You can see the, uh, the old imprint, the coin's just worn out. And we've got another nice two dollar. Sweet. Okay, I've just moved over from that uh, two dollar coin and I've just popped a dollar.
I'll tell you what, this one here had my heart pumping. This was caked in dirt, and all I could see was that. And I thought, oh yeah, silver bangle. Eh, eh. The side of glasses. I see the little nose piece there. What a hard case. Now this is going to be hard to show you, but I can honestly say yeah, gonna see this that this glee. thing <laughs> is so blingy, it's not even funny. <laughs> um, wow. It's like a locket, like you can open the back side. But I think I'll do that when I get home. What a hard case. Check that out. I've just moved over from the old blingy cat and check that out 1919 English one penny first penny for the day second old coin yeah I had a faint 23 here um, it's gone down and I think this thing was on edge it's a uh, New Zealand two dollar Right, we are um, pretty close to the vehicles now. Get anything else, I'll bring you back in. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you at the breakdown. The breakdown for today, you've got the normal trash up the top end there. Pretty much every, every hunt finds. A few more interesting metal items down through here. Part of a pair of glasses there. The field we hunted was uh, the same as we hit the other week, um, where I had some older metal items too, so hence why this sort of stuff's coming up. So in the coins we got a uh, little small gathering of one and two cent pieces, aka New Zealand brown buggers. Got nine bucks in spendies. Um, got the 1919 English penny. Try and get that focus for you. I'm sure that'll clean up nicely. And then we got this blingy item. Um, just under the surface of the grass, everything was filled. So I washed all the dirt out. You can see it's all little heart shapes. But certainly in the sunlight, wow, the bling was uh, pretty intense. So interesting, but cool little find. And then for me, of course, a silver in the hole is always uh, going to be find of the day. So we've got a 1933 New Zealand shilling. These are 50% silver. And the very first of our silvers. So yeah, always happy to find silver. Pretty far and few between these days. There's more detectorists... Uh, getting involved in the hobby okay guys thanks for joining me on this one hope you enjoyed it uh, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys on the next one bye for now bye.